Welcome to Electron Online and one of the ways in which we can understand why we have different kinds of solar eclipses, let's take a look at the Moon and the Sun's relative sizes. Well, for one thing, why do they look different? Why do they look sometimes bigger and smaller? It's because both the Moon has an elliptical orbit and the Earth has an elliptical orbit around the Sun. So the Moon around the Earth, sometimes the Moon is closer to the Earth, sometimes it's farther away. Same with the Earth, sometimes it's closer to the Sun, sometimes it's farther away. So in the extreme case here, where the Moon appears smaller because it's farther away from the Sun in its orbit, and the Sun appears bigger because it is uh, closer to the Sun than the average, then a bigger solar disk with a smaller uh, lunar disk, the, lunar's, the Moon's disk will not be able to cover the Sun's disk, and so you'll end up with what we call an annual ring uh, solar eclipse. So you can still see the Sun shining brightly on the edges, but the Moon will cover the rest of the disk of the Sun. One of those cases where you want to have special glasses, not just sunglasses, but special glasses be able to look at something like that. Because even the ring is extremely bright and can damage your eyes when you look at it. The other extreme case is when the Earth is farther away from the Sun than normal, and so that would be at the uh, apogee or aphelion here, I should say. And then you could say that uh, the Sun will then appear smaller, and then in this case the Moon will be closer to the Earth, so it will appear bigger, a bigger Moon disk, a smaller Sun's disk. The Moon's disk can easily cover up the Sun's disk, and you have a total solar eclipse. Sometimes you have the case where you have a partial solar, solar eclipse, where the Moon's disk would be big enough perhaps to cover the sun's disk but it doesn't do so at the right location and so a little bit a little piece uh, crescent piece of the sun is still visible again when that happens do not look at the sun without special protection otherwise your eyes can get damaged so as you can see the size of the moon can vary anywhere when it's at its closest position to be 33 minutes and 30 seconds in diameter that's the of course the angular size of the moon and at apogee, when it's farthest away, it's 29 minutes and 26 seconds. So you can see there's quite a bit of difference between the size of the moon when it's closer and when it's farther away. Whenever we have a full moon when it's like this, we call that a super moon because the moon does indeed look significantly larger to the eye than we normally can see that we're normally used to. The sun's disk is actually a little bit smaller at its largest. At perihelion, when the Earth is the closest to the sun, then you can see that the size of the disk is 32 minutes and 42 seconds, so it's smaller than the largest size of the Moon's disk. But at its smallest size, when we're the farthest away from the Sun, it's 31 minutes and 36 seconds. You can see then that it's not uh, small enough for the Moon to cover it. So that's why sometimes we have annual eclipses and sometimes we have total eclipses. Most of the time, we would probably have a partial eclipse if the lineup is not just perfect. For most of the places on the Earth, you'll see a partial eclipse only for small little regions each time do you have the opportunity to see a total eclipse. And that is why sometimes we see annual eclipses and sometimes we see total eclipses.